Evolutionists claim the Earth and the universe are millions and billions of years old. The Bible tells us that it is only 6,000 years old. Now, if the Earth is really billions of years old, as evolutionists claim, how do you explain that the DNA is breaking down too fast? DNA has a half-life of only 521 years, meaning that every 521 years in the ground, uh, the DNA of a dead creature or plant would be decaying at 50%. Now, this shows us that in fact, well, DNA could not possibly be as old as evolutionists claim. The maximum total complete zero point would be 6.8 million years ago. Now, this was reported by research at the University of Copenhagen. And if the Earth and the universe are really billions of years old, how do you explain that, in fact, blue stars still exist in known spiral galaxies? You see, here's the problem. Blue stars, such as the ones in Orion's belt that we can see clearly with the naked eye, are more massive than our sun and contain much more hydrogen, shining up to 200,000 times as bright as our sun. They're burning quickly, and these massive ones could not possibly last for more than a million years. Therefore, the galaxies that contain them must be less than a million years old. This is research that can be confirmed on the net if you'd like, but this research was actually published in 2012. You really can trust the Bible about the age of the Earth and the universe being only 6,000 years old.